Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BISP Solution. In this session, we are going to see what are the actions administrator can perform in the time and labor module. So let's directly move into the application and see what are the action administration administrator can perform. Here I'm logged in as a Curtis Fiti who has the time and labor administrator role. So we will go to the my client group and then take a look at his quick actions and then click on the show more option. Here scroll down to the time area. Here it is. You will see a combination of time administration task and time setup options here as quick action name um, suggests. It's a quick way to get to a particular step, whether it's viewing the time card or updating a layout set. Some of these tasks like rule set or rule template, you can get through functional setup manager and other in the time management work area, which is where we will go next. So we'll, let's back on the top area and click on the show less option and the my client group, we have the time management option. So here our overview page with some quick metrics, you will see the time card status. You will notice the exception here and then time transfer status and various link to where he can see more information or resolve some of these issues. So this work area also leads to various administration tasks. On the left, you will see the time, team time cards, uh, team entries, the scheduling area, as well as the time management analysis area, which we will click for a quick view. And here you will uh, see the matrix here on various factors like the overtime, uh, the missed time card, right? And scrolling down, you will see uh, graphs that are shows the overtime trains the absence trains and the mids mid time card trains going back at the top uh, let's go into the plan schedule So you can uh, make notification on this page and then publish those ch changes so that your workers can see their updated schedules. So we'll hope over. Right. Let's move to the time entries next. On this page, the manager can make time entries for an individual by selecting a person or by selecting a group. And now let's take a look at the team time cards. Now on this page, as a time and labor administrator, Curtis can look at time cards for various group of employees. So for example, if I choose a group name here let's search this and make some adjustment to our date and we will get some search result back at include all the members of this bi-weekly hourly group right so now that we have some search result back though notice that i have some 
active buttons to generate, submit, edit and approve and edit. Now on the right side of this page, you will see this small icon, the task area which we call and it leads to an additional list of tasks, some administrative and some of the configuration. Here you can see that, right? So at the top, you will see the individual task by a person, then to more group related, the team schedule and uh, like running process. And then we have the configuration option where we expect to spend a lot of our time, right? So this is the administrator view in time and table. And these are the actions administrator can perform in the time and labor module. So I hope this topic is clear to you. What are the action administrator can perform in the time and labor module. So thank you so much for watching the video.